hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast, live from the Crazy Town Compound. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, D-I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T. What's going on? Oh, you know, back again, episode two, live as can be. We uh, got some shit going on tonight. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're going to talk about things. <laughs> Don't we always do that? Yeah. Isn't that the, that's what we do, Oh, right? that's what this is, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we do want to thank everyone for tuning in, everyone who's here. If you're live on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Crazy Town Media Live. <laughs> and for, if you're watching a, a replay on our YouTube channel, thank you as well. Or audio only on all of the podcast listening. You're just so sites. you're so happy. I am. I'm right. I'm happy to be here. You not happy? I'm. Yeah. Of course, I'm happy okay. to be here. I'm just not like. All right. Wacky, you can find us anywhere. Waving man. inflatable arm tube man uh, over here. Fucking. Look, whatever, dude. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Crazy Town Media. Also, the cornucopia of continuous information about the crazy town. Thecrazytown.com. Yeah. TNT. What's up, man? You know, yes, I just a lot, a lot has happened last week. What? What? Nothing has happened. It's been the slowest news week ever. Yes. <laughs> so what happened? For I watched you? things. You watched something? Yeah, I watched. I watched a show. You watched a show. Something other than The Office. I was going to ask if it was something other than The Office. <laughs> it was. That was my next question. <laughs> That's the first thing that I'm going to talk about today. All right. Yeah. Bring bring your talking All points, right, man. All Come. Right. Have you ever heard of documentaries? <laughs> yes, Jonas. We've all heard of documentaries. Okay. I, I found one on Netflix. I had, I didn't really know what it was about. It was called Icarus. Okay. I thought it was maybe a Greek mythology sort of thing. Not really. I'm, no, just, yeah, I'm or, just being an asshole now. Or a Nintendo property. <laughs> yes, exactly. Just saying. So basically, what this thing was about, it was about a guy who wanted to do a super size me type documentary are you familiar with super size me uh that's when they infiltrate like uh fast food restaurants well he he was gonna eat nothing but fast food for 30 days oh. and that's what he did on his documentary this guy is an amateur cyclist so this movie's about uh doping and cycling like the che how lance armstrong cheated to win the tour to france that sort of stuff oh blood doping blood doping oh, yes. okay so basically what was gonna happen is this guy wanted to do a super size me type documentary mm -hmm. he he was going to do the doping himself. He's an amateur cyclist. He said he did a, a race the year before. He came in 14th out of 400. He wanted to do it again and see like how much his time improved, if he could win, and that he wouldn't get caught cheating to show how much bullshit the testing was. Wait, so well, wait, if he what if he had won? If you cuz I'm assuming he didn't win. But if you cheat and then you win, or is he going to come clean or is he just going to go home with his trophy? He's just like Pocket that check, bitch. No, yeah, no. yeah. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> it's, it's a social experiment when you get caught. That's right, all I'm right, saying. Right. So this was his whole plan. And he went to, uh, I think, a guy at UCLA hooked him up with this, like, steroid guy. A steroid guy? A steroid, guy. steroid yeah, guys? Like it's, it's, like, it's like your drug dealer, but for doping. He, it's your dope dealer, essentially. <laughs> I guess same, same difference, right? I thought, I thought blood doping, the whole point was that you took out so much of your blood and it, and then well, you it was like it was oxygenated like it or something. Like he was like t doing all these shots and like, but I think you do like, I don't know. So he starts. So he meets. He gets with this guy. He's a Russian dude. Right, His name sure. is Grigory Rodchenkov. I'm sure you pronounced it Completely. just like a Russian. <laughs> yes, right, exactly. <laughs> so he gets this guy, and he's all. He, this guy is like, it's like the the jovial he's like hey how you doing he's all like happy over skype showing him how to dope and shit he's like here's how showing you doing. him how to dope no over shit. skype yes yes so he's recording him on skype and everything and you know this guy starts injecting himself and going through the, the shit and doing breathing to practice all sorts of shit whatever the fuck it is well then all of a sudden shit kind of takes a turn a so, turn yeah you're cheating yeah well yeah doping yeah right so you remember when Russia got busted for like international, global, like Olympic doping across all of their athletes? Uh, no, I know about the P tape though. The P tape? What's Ooh, that? Ooh, Jonas doesn't know. I guess not. <laughs> Jonas doesn't know. Yeah. Keep going with your story. We'll okay. look it up later. Okay. All right. So basically, to summarize. 
Russia got caught cheating. Mm -hmm. There was a state-sponsored, government-ran doping thing that every Olympic athlete had done. They got banned from competing at the Olympics because it was like it would be like fucking our, our president being like, "All you guys are gonna dope. We're gonna oop, we're gonna set up a." program so you can dope we're gonna figure out how to get your samples test not tested blah 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 from like the highest levels of russian government yeah well come, if everybody's doing it it's not cheating it's all the russians oh I mean, it's not like all the countries it's just the russians dude. <laughs> so so, so this guy he he all of a sudden that that news breaks during while this guy's filming his documentary mm -hmm. and all of a sudden this guy he's dealing with from his jovial self, he starts acting really fucking weird. And he starts talking about people dying around him and things like that. And he starts getting freaked out. Come to find out, the dude he got hooked up with was the guy at the head of the fucking laboratory it, involved in this entire scandal. Hmm. So, happenstance, he tries to do d doping and he gets hooked up with like the one of the most wanted men in the world at the moment. The magneto of, of blood doping. Yeah, so like Putin would be like the or, yeah, Magneto. He would be like the he'd be like the Colossus or something. I guess the equivalent, like one of like the the, the lower tier the, X Men. Oh no, wait, not Colossus. He's an X. I don't know anything about anything. You know, I just show my non nerddom here. So, but anyways, so this dude starts like fearing for his life, and when he and when he's talking to him and everything, yeah, he he ends up like. The guy in the documentary ends up flying this dude to the U.S. So you have this candid fucking account of this dude who is, like, wanted by the world. People in Russia are trying to kill him. And, like, it's just this account of, like, what happens as this shit unrolls. Yo, is it that serious in in the bike racing community that you need to... Don't. Dude, this is on the Olympic level. Though. Yeah, but what is that? No, but I mean, there's look, no that's money big, in the Olympics. That's how big of a deal it is. Though. I mean, but what? There's not. Russia a, there's, wants to be the best in the world. But at there's all costs. no. There's no money in the Olympics. Is what I'm trying yeah, to say but here. Yeah, sponsored. I mean, there's there's money made. I mean, yeah, but it's not like so, you you win and you get a check. So one point I thought was really fucked up about this. Once Do you gets, get a check? Well, there's a lot. There's a lot fucked up about. All right, keep going, man. So the dude gets into the country. He starts talking. This dude used to be a runner, and he talks about how his mother used to shoot him up with steroids. This, uh -oh. this dude. So it's been like, mm. it's been going on forever. This dude, and he has documentation that this has been happening for Russian athletes for decades. Like, that they've been cheating? Yes. Dude, in, in one of the best scenes. Are we the surprised? Whole, the whole fucking movie is he's sitting down with, like, the anti-doping agency describing this and they're all just like whatever whatever like there's no way this guy that he's full of shit dude pulls out spreadsheets here's the list of every sample the sample number what olympic what athlete how it was done and then all their faces just like drop like why would they keep that on file the guy did the guy who he probably saw if this shit happened he could he could fucking flip like takashi and fucking get get away with it flip like takashi so i would have just turned him in immediately i would 100 percent recommend it it actually ended up winning best documentary at the oscars this year i didn't even know that at the time when i started watching it yeah i have two questions for you tnt do you have questions well, for one's, me? one's a comment and one's a question i didn't know there was going to be a test there is <laughs> the first comment is i think that you should start blood doping for the podcast uh, so you can increase okay. your performance. Easy answer, no. That's not an option. <laughs> that, you making, said no. You said it was a test. It's a comment. Oh, cool. We're making you blood dope. All right. Well, uh, fuck. Everybody it. in the chat, tell them how much you want them to blood dope so you can see him bulk up. And congratulations, chat. Fuck your feelings. 100% <laughs> fuck your feelings. Okay. Second what else? question. If you were an athlete yes. and you could dope and no, you wouldn't get caught, would you do it? Yes. Would you really? Absolutely. Regardless of sport? You know, a wise man once told me, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> just saying. If you're not first, you're last. Exactly. That's why Putin wanted them all to be winners. I'm just trying to figure out where the money is in this. Because usually when people's lives are on the line, it's got to do with money. Well, yeah, but you got to think, dude. I'm sure the countries get money based on the medals, or, or they get, like, they get... There's dude, there's something. Somebody can look it up for us. They can be like, no. hey. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Apparently, there's something to it because if people's lives are being threatened. People died. And, 
Like, <laughs> like in the in the documentary, there was yeah. like a guy that that all of a sudden had a heart attack, and the dude that the scientist guy was like. I've known this guy for years. He's one of the most healthy men I know. For him to drop dead of a heart attack while this is going on, pretty fucking convenient if you ask me. It is convenient. I mean, I agree with you. That's that's a little. It's a little fucked yeah, up. Yeah, it is. But that's really it, man. That's it. Jonas approves. You should watch it. Icarus. What's the name? Icarus. It's on. It's on Netflix, man. So all right. It, just... Even if you don't care about cycling, because honestly, I don't. Very interesting. Yeah, I mean, for a social experiment to right. turn into like a, a federal expose on a it, world crime. I assume it's like a federal case too. I don't even know who who governs that. It's like a world thing. It's like on the you're you're yeah. shysting the entire earth. <laughs> We've been doing it for years here in America. <laughs> yeah, cake on a brother. It was a Russian not America. Yeah, well, we've been doing it anyway. We've so. been, we've been shy. We haven't been shysting the no, world. Ju- we haven't been blood doping. Yeah, we've done way worse. <laughs> we've been doing other. We've stuff. done way worse. All, all right. right, all right. What do you got here? All right, Jonas, you were talking about Russia, and you got the juices flowing. Let's fly overseas. Let's get into some shit that happened in China. Oh and shit! So, and some of the things that they. Are guilty China's, of. China's an okay place, right? Yeah, you would think so, Jonas. You no, would think I've so. always heard that communists are pretty good people. This this has my information <laughs> on the back. <laughs> Your notes <laughs> the be- last week was crumpled sticky notes. No. This year it's a fucking. It's probably like junk mail. It is. It is literally an unopened letter. It's a paycheck stub. All right, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> anyway, consummate professional <laughs> in China. Okay. There was a horror game that was released a on... A horror game? A horror game. Oh, I, <laughs> I thought you said, like, a, like, you take prostitutes out of the I mean, that, that would probably sell, honestly. <laughs> Pimp.com? <laughs> there was a horror game okay. released on Steam okay. and in other venues, I assume, as well. It was called A Devotion. Devotion? Okay. Yes. In the game, you played a screenwriter who kind of searched like an abandoned apartment to uncover the mysteries of a, a Chinese family. Okay, is this available in the States? Or is it like a Chinese-only game? It was available in the States. Okay, We're right. getting there. Right, cool, I've cool. actually seen some gameplay. I watched, uh, I watched some gameplay of it on YouTube. It looked really good. But unfortunately, it is no longer available. What happens is that it turns out that in the game... Well, let, let's let's start off by this. Okay. <laughs> Xi, I don't know how to pronounce this guy. Oh, this is going to be even worse. Like the Russian guy. Xi, Xi Jinping. Okay. Is the like the president and shit over there? The Real, guy who runs this stuff. Yeah, okay. he's he's leader over. He's their Magneto. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. He, he has a problem because there have been a bunch of memes stating that he looks like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, I've heard that he's that fucking. He is not happy about Winnie the Pooh in China. He does not like that shit at all, uh, not at all. Oh shit! Well, it turns out the developers of this game, they put a tiny little Easter egg in their game. One of like it's like a poster on the wall. It says, "Xi Jinping, Winnie the Pooh, moron." <laughs> oh, did he did he kill him? No, he didn't. Oh. Oh, well, we don't know quite okay. yet. But uh, after it was found out by the Chinese government, their site started getting, or their uh, their rating, the game rating, started getting hit with a bunch of negative ratings. But it was getting po- all positive ratings prior. So it started getting hit with a bunch of negative ratings, and then the company comes out and they deliver a, an apology. I don't have the entire apology, but it was something to the terms of effect of, uh, yo, look, we fucked up. Uh, we, we're sorry if we offended anybody. It is all our fault. We fucked up. They apologized a lot. Oh. And very blatantly. <laughs> As they had their toes in a vice and shit. So, um, after about uh, a week or so, they ended up taking the game off of, uh, off of Steam. And you can no longer find the game anywhere. Couldn't you just take the Winnie the Pooh poster out and like re-release it? They did. And it's got taken down. It still got negative reviews. And now, even the negative reviews have gone to a game that they made years back that is still available oh, on their shit. website. And now it's getting negative reviews. That's like uh, so, when uh, the, uh, when like, like the 
online review community like yelp and shit they're like they're like let's get this business they're all let their ass and then everyone just like bombards their shit with negative reviews and just it's it's a little bit worse than that man because it's like if you're the president or you're the leader you gotta you gotta have a thick skin you gotta be able to take some oh yeah ours is yeah you know (laughs) what what jonas i just i just i i I mean, America knows what that's like. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying that you have to have a thick skin. We we are up here on on the screen, and people look at us, and they might oh, say mean things. We're trash too. They say we're say, such trash, and you guys are watching us. But we. <laughs> I mean, hi. I love you guys so much. I mean, I'm just trying to relate. <laughs> you, you you just gotta have a thick skin. So this guy is to the point where somebody made fun of him on a poster <laughs> in a video game, and he decided. To shut them the fuck down. Oh, well that kind of... Isn't that kind of illegal? Illegal? Yeah. No, not in communist countries. No, yeah, I guess so. Communist (laughs) countries, I I actually have a China story as well. Proud to be an American. Rolls right into that. We'll keep that train going. All right, man. Get it One quick hit I do have. What's that? Is uh, not long ago, it was announced that a Chinese company invested like $300 million in Reddit. And, uh... And on the day that that was announced, like, on the front page, there was a shitload of posts of, like, hurry up and post all these Winnie the Pooh posts and pictures of Tiananmen Square before the Chinese make us take it down. Then they're, like, on the front page, there was, like, Winnie the Poohs and, like, the pictures of, like, that massacre at Tiananmen Square and shit. He he does look uncannily, uncannily like Winnie the Pooh. (laughs) It is, it is absolutely nuts how close he looks like to Winnie the Pooh. Jesus, I guess I gotta look, I didn't know a man could look like a bear. He he has the body shape. It's funny. It's just oh, the body okay, shape. Okay, okay, all right. They actually banned the movie Christopher Robin from airing <laughs> in China. They also in Kingdom Hearts three they banned the appearance of Winnie the Pooh because in Kingdom Hearts there's a bunch of Disney properties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They totally oh, took Winnie the Pooh out of the game so in China. You're in charge of the the largest country in the world. Yeah. With the largest population. Yeah. You're a superpower. Yeah. And you're insecure as fuck. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, Winnie the Pooh of all things. I know. You know, as quiet as this Kev Jonas, I think America handles like disrespect the best. Really? I really do. Because I, I own it? Yeah, because I think of like uh like this case right here. And then I think of like even Kim Jong il and I think of oh, like he gets pissed too when people make fun of him. They murder people. Exactly. Right there. I think I think the English speaking countries just naturally take it a little bit better. But I might be wrong because I, I think like France is pretty good about taking shit. Yeah. Yeah. The Canadians maybe. Oh yeah. They're, they're, like, pro- they're probably they're the like, best. We love you. At least we're on the good end of the spectrum. Yeah, no shit, right? All right, give me give me your story, John. Let's get, in, okay. let's get into it, man. I have to touch base to a topic we've talked about before. I think it was in season two of the podcast. Uh, China's social credit system. Oh, yeah, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, Because, yeah. you know, you're like, oh, how could he take a game off the shelves just like that? Well, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, China has a social credit system that ranks you as if you're a trash human being or not, essentially. So the worst that you are in public? Yeah, if you act a fool, if you are delinquent on your bills, if you, like, That's any of that shit, you lose ranking. Um, so I wrote down a couple of the things. I mean, it can, it can be positive, too. I'm going to rehash on these quick because we've talked in depth about them before, just to give people an idea. So if you're a bad citizen... <laughs> You can get banned from flights or trains, which I just read. Tens of millions of people have been denied transportation since this went mm-hmm. into effect. Yeah. Because when we talked about before, it was going into effect. Oh. Because this is, so it's been in effect a while. Tens of millions. Tens of millions, it said. All right. Uh, internet throttling. They can make your internet slow. No, no, no. That, that right there, that's bullshit. <laughs> no, no, no. They're like, no, no, you don't no, pay no. your credit card, return right, your internet get, off. Get that shit out of here. You can ban the actual adult or their children from the best schools. You can wow. be restricted from getting the best jobs. Sins of the father, man. You can keep get kept out of the best hotels when you're traveling. Yeah. You can be publicly named a bad citizen. What does that mean? Like the government comes out and says, Joe Schmo is a piece of shit. Yeah, I'll take that one. Could you imagine? That's my option. Could you imagine like if like like weekly the president just went on the country and was like, TNT Dynamite is an amazing citizen. Jonas you're a piece of shit. And, and that's like just it. It's like, not wrong. <laughs> it's I'm not, trash. It's, it's not cool. wrong. So 
that's, so, that's crazy, but though. there are some positives. So if you are a good citizen, yeah. you can get better interest rates on loans and things. Okay. You can uh, you can get energy bill discounts. You can do you can rent things without a deposit, mm-hmm. and you can also it says here get more matches on dating sites. What? Wait, hold the fuck up! What? Right. <laughs> so if you're a good citizen, they send TNT Dynamite more matches than they would send somebody else. See, you know, and like I have to say is that I know everybody that's watching. You were thinking like, oh, I wonder if they're giving out hand jobs or something, because that's where that's Who's where. Giving out hand jobs. I'm saying, you know, like you got always comes back to hand jobs. Again. But it is, doesn't it? Because well, you have more matches doesn't mean you're getting That is greater hand job potential, Jonas. Yes, I guess. I guess I guess it's just a numbers game. The great the more matches you get, the better chance you gotta get in the age. So HJ. the government's handing out like sex to men and women. Indirectly. Well, I mean, they're, women hint- men. they're hinting. It's a it's a wink wink nudge nudge so type of thing. I know, but it's men and women. So they're handing out like Yeah, well women like hand jobs too. What okay, the fuck? I guess yeah. I've never really called that hand jobbing a woman before, but I guess <laughs> <laughs> I guess in a crude sense that is that is what it is. Um, so, anyways, that's like kind of where they're at. But what my story was was that they've had they have a new app they just put out recently, yeah, which translates to <laughs> Map of Deadbeat Debtors. And when you download this app onto your phone, it brings up a map, and you can see around you. Who is delinquent on their debt? And do what with the information? Just so you know if you're around some shysty fucking now. How does that suckers? make them shysty if they're broke? Well, <laughs> Being but, broke does not make you shysty. Well, like, people who aren't broke don't pay their bills. I don't... Wait, what? There's <laughs> rich people who don't pay their bills and are delinquent and shit. Okay, yeah, that is true. I had to think about that. Yeah, you're like, you are Wait a second. Right. Just because yeah. you have the money doesn't mean you pay your bills on well, time. Well, just because you don't pay your bills don't mean you're a, a, a That's bad person. That's a very true person. statement. Some people hit hard times. Or, yeah, and plus sometimes it's like, fuck them bills. <laughs> so, oh, so you're like, I have the money. Sometimes. Just fuck that bill. Fuck them bills. Wow. Like, thank you. Wow. I don't Buffalo like... bills, fuck them. <laughs> duck I, I, bills, I, fuck duck bills. I agree with bills. that 100%. Fuck Bill Clinton. Fuck Bill Cosby. Oh, fuck Bill Cosby. Yeah. (laughs) Who Uh, else? Bill. O'Reilly. Oh, Bill Paxton, Rip. I don't know who that is. That's the guy. Game over, man. It's game over. He died. Don't fuck him. I'm not fucking. Not in a necrophilia. (laughs) Keep it going. Okay. (laughs) So I mean, but it basically it doesn't know. It it didn't say exactly if it shows the person like they they start tracking you or it just kind of shows where they live or what. But like. What? The government is mapping your ass if you're a delinquent on your thing. Oh! I mean, it's it's a it's a public access app, too. Like, anybody can download yeah, yeah, it? it's just like an app in the app store. Like, Google Maps, deadbeat debtors. We loaded up in the old crazy town compound. We see all the deadbeat debtors that live around us. What would we even do with that information? Uh, Go to their house and pee on their door? N- no, Jonas. Oh. Like, like, for real, what are they doing with that information? Not like in uh, Jonas land. In tri- no. <laughs> um, the government? Yeah, I mean, anybody who's download, you're saying that this app was available to people. So what, what, what what they do with the information? What do yeah, you do with people that? People are nosy, dude. They're all like, I wonder if any of my neighbors are on the bad credit list. No, man. There's got to be, there's, dude, there's a there's, way to monetize everything, is my point. There's fucking Chinese right? soccer moms who want to know if Jing Pao down the street fucking has, has a debt, man. Really close to being racist, but I'm going to let that slide. What? Not to me, motherfucker. To the Chinese people. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wow, okay. Just make it up. I apologize if that was fucking <laughs> what are you over the line. It's fine. There's no so, over the line, Jonas. It was a joke. You're would, good. Would you download it? I touched you. What? Ooh. No. <laughs> Getting frisky and shit. No, because like I said, there's, there has to be some way to capitalize on that information. I don't know if you're like, like if I was a, uh, not like Dog the Bounty Hunter. What is one of the guys who, a debt collector? They okay. s- serve if you're serving people. Oh, but they don't. They're they're just they're just work for the court. That's I mean, they, but, don't, they, aren't, they aren't the actual collector. They're fucking. Uh, but in there, what in, are those called? Uh, exactly. God exactly. <laughs> don't worry. Constable. A what? A, a constable. constable brings the court documents to your house. They're like, dot dot dot. John Smith. Here you go. You've been served. <laughs> 
I was just trying to get to the point of that is how you oh. monetize it. Oh. I'm just trying to figure out who's going to use this app. Because, yeah, I don't give a fuck if our neighbor is not paying their bills or not here. I don't care. I don't care either, but some people do. But why would anybody care? Keeping up with the Joneses, man. No, but, oh, you're okay. You're right. Fine. People love to know <laughs> if they're better than somebody else, man. If you, if you open up your neighborhood and you were the only house that didn't have a fucking red X on it, you fucking, some people would fucking jo put a poster on their front door. Jonas, that sounds good in theory, but in reality, I don't see that many people being that interested in the goings-ons in other That's people's we houses. We don't care about that. Some people but, give a shit, dude. I mean, morbid curiosity, maybe, but nah, dude. to the point where this app is, like, trending? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Sure. It's Google trend. number one app. <laughs> number one on app. On fucking... All right. All right. Fucking goddamn it, Jonas. Fine. All right. Wow. Is it my turn? Yeah. Let's go. Just goddamn it, trying to get in everybody's pocket watching ass. I love pocket watching. I hate po no pocket watching. It's a difference. Oh, watching. Oh yeah. People uh, pocket watching, dude. You got See, it. See, it's like, what do you need a ro uh, what do you what do you need a uh, Ferrari made of Lexuses for? To say I have one. A Ferrari made of Lexuses. Yeah. <laughs> Is that from something? <laughs> something like that from Parks and Rec. I don't remember the exact thing. I like a Ferrari. Yeah. Like that. He's all like, what do you need that for? To say you have one? Yeah. Well, you know? So it's like. I don't. I really don't think that's what motivates people out there. I really. think Kanye said it best. I just spent 400 bucks on this to say word I can't say. You ain't up on this. Boom! <laughs> All right, Jonas, my story. <laughs> Let's get into some wholesome news, Jonas. Oh, I can't show the back of my paper. Huh? <laughs> it's going to have, like, uh, TNT Dynamite home address. Let me get this close to the microphone. <laughs> ASMAR. Yeah, here you got ASMR. <laughs> ASMR. He's like... All right, Jonas. Uh, I wrote this this morning, so I do not know what it says now. Okay. <laughs> but apparently... Uh, they have discovered what could very well possibly be the cure for HIV. I actually have the same story. I'm aware. Yeah. We I mean, about we it. talked about it off camera. You want me to act surprised now? For the... Oh my God. I can't believe we have. Su we were surprised when we talked about it, but like now Not, we like, weren't even that surprised. I, I bring all the surprises. <laughs> you, to you bring the surprise. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so they might have discovered the cure for AIDS. <clears throat> Apparently 12 years ago, uh, there was a case that happened in, I don't know Berlin. where Berlin. And, <laughs> and through a process of what it looks like is a bone marrow transplant, uh, also kind of with stem cells. Yeah, yeah. They were able to uh, give this man medication that sent him in what they called a uh, remission, but a long term remission. Right. Um, he took the medications for a while, and then after so many treatments, he stopped taking the medication, but he had no more occurrences of the HIV virus. Yeah. What it actually said about that was that he, they found trace amounts of HIV, yeah. but it was so low, they couldn't clinically say that he had it. It never like fully came back to a measurable level where they were considering oh, so HIV positive. Then it wouldn't be. It so wouldn't it was be... kind in his blood, but like okay. not enough to be like, oh, you're positive. Yeah. So it's not even like on a deadly or terminal level. It's not even on a like they wouldn't clinically Can, say he had it, could but he, they still found a little bit. Could like, he fuck without a condom? Just like a, I don't know. Could he just be raw dog and? That was a question I had for you at the end of this. <laughs> I literally have a question. You're gonna ask me if I have AIDS? <laughs> no, no, the no. fuck, dude? No, no, no. Let's. Go. I, I, I got a question for you. You got a question let's, for let's me? Move, let's move on. Oh, through. fucking maybe I have some questions for you. Well, sure. Let's. I mean, let's get through the story. We need to both get some tests done. All right. Anyway, so just recently there was a duplicate occurrence that happened in London. Um, Doctor Timothy Brand. Bram, I believe. Sure. No, that was the Berlin guy. I don't fucking know. Either way, they fucking they did it again with the same procedures. They've been working on this for it was almost a year to the date that the first occurrence had. They've been working on this for a year, and they believe that they have discovered a way to do it. But uh, they say that the bone marrow transplant is not a viable way to do it because it carries other risks. But the research can be used to process and synthesize medication that can in turn lead to long-term remission of HIV and a potential cure. Absolutely. 
Uh, to piggyback off on that, they they you said want. that uh, you know this process was a little bit too risky for a lot of people, and, and so is. a lot of people could take a daily pill, and that keeps them like at bay for the HIV. Yeah, there's some strong HIV medications um, out there. I'll tell you that much. Man. But what they said they did is the bone marrow. There definitely are. They use bone marrow from people who were HIV resistant. Yeah. My question: How do you find out that you're HIV resistant? Who's the guy that's like, you know what? Plug me up with that HIV. Let's see if my blood responds. How do you find out you can't get HIV? That's what I want to know. <laughs> that's the people's question, right? I mean, you, know, just, it's, you just test your blood, man. No, no. They're resistant. They can't get HIV. I mean, but so you can just do you... a blood test. What? You just take a blood nah, test. Dude, and they, don't, you... they, don't, they don't do blood tests. No, nah, dude. You either got to like. You gotta like go full in, or you, uh, or you just test their blood. And if they test positive for the hold on, John, oh. if they test positive for the CCR5 gene, then you know that they're resistant. Oh, bitches, I did my homework. Damn, bro, you are very <laughs> so. I mean, blood tests are done all the time. I'm sure they probably were in like uh cahoots or they were in bed, in they were in bed with like some laboratory in the area and they were mm -hmm. looking for a blood type with that specific gene. Okay. But they found it, and it could potentially cure that. I'm just waiting for them to be able to cure herpes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere down the road, my friend. Somewhere, Somewhere down, down the road. road. <laughs> so my question. Yo. So this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, we don't know if the London patient was male or female. They didn't say. No, he wanted to keep his identity, or she wanted yeah, to keep her the identity. The other guy secret. came out and said mm -hmm. who he was. So, so, like, you had HIV. You go through the whole process. You're in remission. Long like, term. Does this guy like tell his potential partners like, hey, I'm patient zero of like the HIV thing? Or is he able to be like, no, nah, girl, I'm good. I don't know, man. It, he, he's going 18 months without taking any medication and he has no signs of having HIV. Yeah, or the girl. Dude, I don't like, know. But what about the 10 year guy? Yeah, I, mean, even the I mean, like, okay. So say, all right. So here, uh, let me give you a scenario. You meet a woman. Jonas, you're like, you're like, whatever. She goes, hey, TNT, I'm, I'm the London patient from the HIV research. The one person out of 7 billion on the planet. You know what I mean? And she's like, it's cool, though. I don't have HIV anymore. They like, they, they, they did it. I mean, how hot is she? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> this is a real question. If you're asking me a real I, I question. Think it could be a dude. Oh, well, then if it's a dude, definitely, definitely not. Right. Not, <laughs> Jonas. Definitely not. Yeah, I just don't know. I mean, like, where does the line go on that? Like, if they're curing, like, things like that now, but it's, like, kind of cured. Like, all right. So, I, I look if it's a female, she has to be like A rank and above, A to S rank. If it's a S dude, rank? yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, are you doing crazy taxi rankings? <laughs> Basically. Class, class A, class S, class crazy. Yeah, and for me to fuck a dude, he'd have to be like triple S rank. So, <laughs> I'm just saying, dude, I'm picky when it comes. <laughs> well, I mean, give, me, give me an example of a dude that falls in. <laughs> as to. as far as it goes right now, I've never seen a man <laughs> who is triple S rank. Someone has to reach a I've level seen a couple of, of for a man that you've never seen in your life. I've seen some S's out there. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> but I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in your S's. Triple S's You're only. Like, wow, dude. Yeah. Like, woo! <laughs> But yeah, it's actually, it's a wonderful story, I guess. It is, it's great. Just it really because it, it's, aside. it's been an issue for a long time. It's claimed so many lives. It'd be good to see Some that they like can cure that. Freddie Mercury. Oh, that's true. Yeah, man. Michael so, J. Fox. He has Alzheimer's and he's not dead. <laughs> Does he? Have he has Parkinson's yeah, and he's yeah. not dead. Oh, okay. One of the two. Yeah. Oh, they need to cure but Parkinson's, man. I feel bad for Marty McFly, dude. They have medications for him, but he really can't. He's, yeah, he's yeah, pretty yeah. shaky, dude. He's like, uh, yeah, he's real bad. Uh, it was like, you know, he went back in time in the movie and saved himself. The first, if anyone could go back in time, we, I, I say we save <laughs> Marty McFly. We'll leave it to Jonas to turn the AIDS conversation <laughs> into a Back to the Future talk. I love Back to the Future. I know, Jonas. You like things from the 90s. Right there, that's from the 80s. Thank you. Or what? Same thing. Oh, 80s okay. is just like the 70s of the 90s. <laughs> the 80s is the set. No, dude, there's way more cocaine in the 80s than there was in the 90s. Yes. What was the 90s? There was bro? way more cocaine in the 70s than uh, there was in the 80s. Yeah, no, uh, dude. Everyone was there. I mean, 
Dude, <laughs> everyone was wearing neon colors. That is cocaine stuff right there. What were they doing in the 70s then? Weed, dude. All right, dude. We <laughs> weed and whatever weed, else. Weed dudes. Opium. Weed dudes. Weed, they were doing weed dudes. <laughs> So yeah, I have I do have another story that we can uh, touch on. All right, give it to me. So <clears throat> there was a man. You know, have you have you been out to uh, Walmart lately? <laughs> yes, Jonas. Have you seen? Yes. Have you? Se I've been to Walmart. Have you ever had a Girl Scout cookie before? Uh, John, he, I don't What's really. What's your favorite like... Girl Scout cookie? Which ones do I like? You tell me. I the forget. peanut butter ones. Yeah. Where are, they? are they the Samoas? Those are really good. Or are they the dude. trifoils? Which ones I am I talking about? The, the Samoas are the caramel delights. No, nah, I don't like those. With the coconut and the caramel? They're good, but I don't like them. Are you not American? I'm not American. Yeah, I'm American. I'm wearing a flag <laughs> on my fucking plate. Not... <laughs> you know that H-E-B. I like the peanut butter ones. a local Texas grocery store chain. Sells knockoff. Caramel the lights. Fucking typical. They're trying to rip off the fucking Girl Scouts. You know who else does? Family Dollar, Dollar General. I'm like, no. and they're so good too. Oh my god. And no. they're only like a dollar. They undercut the Girl Scouts on top of it. They undercut the Girl Scouts. Oh, wait, so do they sell all the different flavor I think combinations? They do, uh, I think they do uh, Caramel the lights. I think they do. I don't know what thin the... mints. Oh, those are like the most popular ones too. Uh, maybe like the, the ones that are just plain cookies. They have like a shortbread cookie, I believe. Mm -hmm. You know what they had new this year? S'more cookies. S'more cookies. S'more. It's like it was like graham cracker cookie with like marshmallow and coated in chocolate. You know, Jonas. The older I get, the more I just do not understand like the these uh the these, kids? these sweets. <laughs> these uh I'm these. I'm not a big sweets guy myself. I'm not, I'm not a confectionist, man. I'm just not into it. The older I get, I just want to pour grease down my throat. I'm sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, I, I don't, yeah, I get you. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. I understand. No, no, I mean, just yeah. like, I'm very, I'm more of a savory kind of guy, not sweet. Okay. Salt, yeah. salt grease, you wings. You just want me to pour grease down your throat. No, I don't know what that is. is that, hot oil. Is it a consistency thing for you? Is no, it, no. Just, you like grease? No, I was being facetious. Oh. I want, I want salty, greasy foods. Like, oh. Like, like chicken wings. Okay. Never mind. You know. I think one week we should have a bowl of chicken wings right here. I will not be in doing that with you. I won't eat them. You're I'm just going to have them there? Yeah, they should just be, we could give them to the, the crowd. I've been thinking about putting some other stuff on the table. I really like that pharaoh. I, I still uh, think we should maybe put that well, other thing up. Put it on your side. I will, dude. All right. All right, so there was some girls who were sitting out in front of a Walmart, I think, or some store. Oh, yeah, the cookie store. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> they, were, uh, they were slanging their wares. <laughs> of course. Their wares, in this case, Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> so there was a man, mm. and he was he walked by, and he was like, hey, ladies. Hey, Jonas, it sounds creepy already. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to partake in your sale. No, see, Jonas, you're making it weird. No, I'm not. You are making it weird. No, I'm not. That's how I'd approach every prostitute I've ever seen. <laughs> I'd like to, I'd like some of your wares. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. I would like some of your wares. Hey, ladies, I'd like to partake in your sale. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> I didn't even realize I said that. Yeah. So he buys a few boxes of Girl Scout cookies. All right, cool. And he walks off. What did he get? Uh, thin mint stuff. Sure, he got thin mints. He Fucking got seven boxes of thin mints. Fucking savage. So he walks away. Lo and behold, this man comes back. He's like, you know what, girls? Load all these fucking cookies up, put them in my car. He bought all the cookies. He bought every single pack of cookies. Good shit. How many? $540. Whoa, wait, worth. why, dude? And they're, they're $4 a box, so the math, there's 100 boxes, and there's 140, uh, 125, 128, 29 boxes of cookies. So over $500 in cookies. Yes. So, hmm. and then they, uh, and then he took, he actually, I guess it went kind of viral on social media, probably on Facebook, not on Reddit. Mm -hmm. That's some Facebook shit. And you know, there's only certain things that go on Facebook that don't go on Reddit. So I put that yeah. shit on Reddit, he'd <laughs> be like, fuck this shit. I don't know. Wholesome, wholesome news is always good. Every man. comment I ever see on Reddit is, is, what is this Facebook now? Like when people put bullshit, it's like good hearted. Anyways, you know, that's true. I that's like, why you're laughing. I don't know. I like wholesome memes. Um, so they, he took a picture with the two girls. 
And uh, and he, they didn't even get his name. He walked off, went viral. Later, he was found dead of a diabetic shock. No, turns out he did have a name. His name was Dietrich McGowan. All right, where's the weird stuff come in, Jonas? I know it's going to get busted go. by the DEA for he was distributing controlled substances. He was cash smuggling <laughs> of over a million dollars. Oh, that's where he got the money from. He was. Interstate travel and transport, what? importing controlled substances. So he was getting it from somewhere. They found a bunch of heroin. Cookie boxes. Right. <laughs> he was That's how he did it. He's, <laughs> he's like the perfect front. Exactly. I can just put all this heroin inside <laughs> these fucking cookie boxes. Fucking so, cookie boxes. I guess I did this to show that yeah. even if you're a ruthless drug lord... You can have a heart. Oh, honestly, yeah, but if you're a ruthless dr drug lord, it also shows you're an idiot because if he didn't go viral, would they have found him as well, easily? I mean, how would you know a picture of a dude in a picture is a drug lord? Man, you don't he, think the that... The picture, he just had on like a t-shirt. Man, you don't think that the government is in all over everything we put online? So if I put $500 on some bullshit, the government's going to think I'm a drug lord? If it goes viral and starts getting some upvotes, somebody's going to see it. How many eyes view Facebook every day oh, and Reddit? Yeah. You don't think any of those are federal how would they? How would you associate field a man buying Girl Scout cookies to drugs? Like, I, where's, the, where's the line? Where I mean, you... they probably knew what he was doing, right? I think these are unrelated. I think they were already investigating him. Well, yeah. And then he just happened. He was like. But I, it, look, man, if you're out there doing crimes and I don't <laughs> condone it. Wow. Don't be showing your face on social media. All right. Leave that shit in your in your own home. Thank me for it and send me. Remember, I'll take my ten percent. Crazy. You're Thirteen now. Eventually, you become thirty six, and then, <laughs> and then when you try to apply for a job, they bring up your Facebook page and go, "Is this you what? putting a pop tart in your friend's mouth?" And they're like, "I don't, I don't need, I can't say anything about it." He's not wrong. Crazy Town Consulting. We'll take our ten percent. Yeah, you reach out. You ask us if you think it's a good idea. We'll tell you the truth. And we'll take our 10%. You got to pay us 10% of all of your money when you ask. 10%. 10%. So, <clears throat> yeah, man. So, he got he got caught. He's in jail oh, now. Oh, he's, so he's, he's in. He's under the he's jail. He's in, uh, yeah. He's that, in, sound, that sounded like another Russian guy, too. No, he's a black dude. He may be Russian. I Dietrich? Know. Yeah. Yeah, Dietrich McGowan. He's a black dude. Oh, yeah. McGowan. 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 Yeah, like uh. That's fun to say. Someone famous McGowan. Heather McGowan. Heather, who the fuck is that? <laughs> Rose McGowan. Oh, Rose McGowan. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, yes, yes, yes. But all right, man. That's that's pretty much all I have. So, TNT. I'm sad to say it. But that is all the time that we have for today's episode of Crazy Town Live. <laughs> I want to thank everyone. You and these dramatic pauses. Dude, it's all about <laughs> you tell me all the time it's about the pause. Let's eat, kids. Or let's eat kids. I know, dude. You know? Just, you, 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 thank you. you so much for watching us. Thanks, watching guys out on. there. You. We love you. Hearts and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hearts. Boom. Okay. <laughs> So, if you're that. watching live on Twitch, please subscribe on our YouTube, youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Crazy Town Media. If you're watching on YouTube or on a replay, check us out here live. It's better to be in the chat and be involved. Get in there. Twitch.tv forward slash Crazy Town Media live. And of course, the cornucopia of continuous information about the Crazy Town, <coughs> CrazyTown.com, yep. and find us everywhere, Crazy Town Media. You have any? You got it all. You have out? any passing words? Hi, mom. All right, everybody. But thank you so much. But for Jonas, for TNT, we and Testicles, <laughs> we are out. Bye. <laughs>